Jefferson City has lifted its curfew tonight after an EF3 tornado tore through the state capitol late Wednesday evening. Today, many residents were out working, trying to salvage what's left of their homes that are now destroyed. All my stuff is in boxes and we have to leave. I think it's all hitting me all at once. Megan McSpadden's life is now confined to cardboard, but she's actually grateful her damage wasn't worse. I just thought it was just going to be a really bad storm. I had no idea about the tornado. When the tornado tore through her Jefferson City apartment complex late Wednesday, all she could think about is her young daughter, Hazel Grace. I never thought I was going to be a mom. And when things like this happen, it's, just, it's horrible. As the reality of her situation starts to settle in, some helping hands like grandmas and complete strangers are truly lifting her up. This is the beginning of recovery. Just as she was about to run to the store to buy containers, these volunteers delivered just what she needed. These 120 volunteers in orange are part of Samaritan's Purse. We try to really unload some of the burden that immediately follows uh, a wind event or a disaster. They're spending their holiday weekend helping McSpadden pack her belongings for her unexpected move out. At the same time, utility crews are working overtime and heavy machinery is out clearing debris from this complex where the property representative says about four to 500 people called home. Nearby, a local church's sign out front reads, we will rise. Thank you for giving us strength after today, McSpadden feels like that is very true. And it was a blessing, a big blessing to have people come in here and help us.